Well, hospitals prefer to be known best for providing quality patient care. But lawsuits and former employees for a hospital in the scenic North Georgia mountains paint a different picture, and it's not a pretty one. Uh, Fox 5 I-Team reporter Randy Travis is here now to explain. That's right, Sinead and Russ. Yeah, over the years, the uh, for-profit Mountain Lakes Medical has had difficulty paying all its bills on time, raising questions about what's really going on with that estimated $20 million place of healing on the hill. No doubt the location is stunning. Perched high above the city of Clayton in North Georgia, the 24-bed Mountain Lakes Medical Center spared no expense when it opened for business in September 2017. An outdoor boardwalk with a view of Black Rock Mountain, a restaurant that would draw local artists to come eat and dream, and patient rooms that look directly out at the serene landscape below. Just don't include local attorney Michael Cummings as being so inspired. When I drive by it, I can kind of hear the voices of all the people who complain to me all the time. Cummings represented a Mountain Lakes medical employee who says she didn't get paid, and two who said the hospital didn't pay their insurance premiums. Cummings managed to settle the lawsuits after the hospital denied wrongdoing, but he says the complaints would continue. And it was Jennifer Dodd job. once worked as That's secretary it. for the it's hospital CEO. She like says the insurance office. problems for employees started at the hospital's yeah, old location hospital. in Clayton. People would go to the doctor's office or go to the pharmacy to pick up their prescription. Insurance was declined. People would call me and say, hey, it was taken out my check. I've been paying this. She says the hospital couldn't pay its own bills either. There's tax bills that wouldn't get paid. They get behind on the water bills. Nancy Cicchetti worked in the lab. The hospital was kind of known for that, you know. Oh, better get your check to the bank before it bounces. Hmm. You know, I mean, that's everybody knew that. Clayton's mayor backs up the former employees. He tells the Fox 5 I team the hospital's reputation for bouncing paychecks and falling behind on its city taxes and water bills started years ago. But that's not all. According to these lawsuits stretching back to 2013 at the hospital's old location, $90,000 was owed for computers, $140,000 in back pay to a gastroenterology practice in Atlanta. Each time once lawyers got involved, the case was settled and the bill paid. But those money problems have continued in the new location. A lawsuit over failing to pay $18,000 for the hospital restaurant flooring. Innovate Medical also sued last year, claiming it wasn't paid $40,000 for new medical equipment. Both debts were eventually satisfied. This week, the city of Clayton said the hospital currently owes thousands of dollars for back taxes and overdue water bills. Mountain Lakes Medical did not respond to repeated attempts for comment. Plenty of rural hospitals in our country have faced financial stress. In fact, in the last decade, seven of them here in Georgia have had to close their doors. But it's the latest legal complaint against Mountain Lakes Medical that's raised some disturbing concerns. Who thinks that their employer is going to do something like that? Dr. Butch Finley has practiced family medicine in Raven County for 31 years. He was the Mountain Lakes Medical Center Chief of Service, similar to a Chief of Staff. He and the hospital parted ways last year. But according to this complaint, shortly after he left, former hospital employees began admitting they were told to use Finley's physician ID number, or NPI, to bill insurance for patients he never saw or for procedures he never performed, sometimes after he had already left defendant's employment. So you've got former employees from the hospital swearing that they used your number to bill for patients you never saw. Yes, it makes me angry. You know, I've, I've spent 31 years here. I love these people, they love me. And I don't, I don't want my reputation sullied. Dr. Finley's complaint asked a judge to issue an emergency discovery order because he believes if he confronts defendants or their attorney, defendants will attempt to destroy, conceal, or otherwise make it difficult for plaintiff to obtain billing information from them. In its response, Mountain Lakes Medical denied the charges and asked the case be dismissed. Dr. Finley has 30 days to respond. A judge granted the emergency order to preserve those patient records. Even though neuropathy has made getting around a challenge, the 70-year-old Finley still practices medicine here. But his days at Mountain Lakes Medical weigh heavy. What if I had been, they had somebody had investigated and I was charged with Medicare Medicaid fraud? That would be my legacy in this community. That's your fear? Yeah, that's a big fear. He says suing his old employer was the only way to make sure the hospital stopped. Is there any chance that if this did happen, it was just an accident? No. This, this was deliberate. 
Again, we made a repeated attempts to hear from Mountain Lakes Medical on all of this, reaching out to attorneys and even visiting the hospital CEO's office. We got no response. Hmm. So Dr. Finley, is he still doing any kind of work at all with the Mountain Medical? Well, he says that there are some good people still working there and he, he likes some of them there, but he says when he's treating someone now and they need a test done, he encourages them to go to a different hospital, not the one there in the community, not that beautiful $20 million right. one on the hill there. Yeah, concerned obviously about his reputation, but if they were using his number for patients he didn't see, that sounds like it would be a crime, if. He and his wife have reached out to law enforcement but have not gotten a response yet. All right, Randy, thanks. Thanks, okay. Randy.